In this video, I will demonstrate the digital input and output integration of the iCam Viewer mobile app with Zavio IP cameras. Using these controls in the iPhone app, I will turn an alarm strobe light and lamp on and off from remotely over the internet. These controls are also available in the Android app. Let's get started. Okay, so on our test wall here, we have our IP camera, the digital output of it connected to a relay switch that is connected to a low voltage strobe light. This is a 12 volt DC strobe light. It's connected to a power source here. And basically the digital output of the camera is going to trigger the relay and turn on the 12 volt DC power supply, which will turn the strobe light on. So let's launch the iCam viewer application and go to the viewer. And then you can see along the bottom of the viewer, there are a couple of controls. The one on the left, it turns the output of the camera on, the middle one turns it off, and the one on the right with the two arrows sends it a pulse. So if I turn the uh, one on, you can see that the digital output of the camera is enabled and the relay is switched on, which turns the strobe light on and then I'll press the off and it turns off. So uh, you don't need to worry about anything else here right now except for that the output is connected to this relay switch which is connected to the strobe. This, this, we're not using the magnetic door sensor. I covered that in another video. But we are, what we are going to do is connect, switch the output of the camera now from this relay switch to this power switch tail which is basically a low voltage switch to a 120 volt AC power supply. This is connected just to a standard uh, US wall outlet. And then this here is connected to this uh, light here. This is uh, not the most practical light for the test, but this is something I use when I make videos. Uh, it'll just, it'll turn on instead of the low voltage light once I switch this over. So I'm going to uh, disconnect the relay and connect the power switch up. Okay, so we're back now, and you can see I disconnected the GV relay and instead hooked up the output of the camera to the power switch tail, which now I'm going to plug back in our light and the power source. So this is connected to uh, this light right here. So we'll grab the app again, and now when I turn the app on, you can see the light comes on. There it is. And then when I turn it off, it goes off. And that's it. That's all there is to it. For additional information and step-by-step -step setup instructions on how everything in this video was configured, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com slash app dash IO. Thank you for watching.